my name is Peyton and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's fun fact about me before we get into the video is that I'm always freezing. And so like right now, I have a beanie on and it's like big fuzzy sweater because I'm literally always so cold. And I don't know why, like I could just be sitting and I'm freezing. I think it's because I don't get my circulation moving by like walking, so I'm just always freezing. So even though I'm inside, I'm still wearing like this fuzzy sweater and a beanie. But all right, let's get on into today's video. So I'm gonna go in with my um, MAC Shape and Shade brow tint like I always do. And so nothing really new. I'm gonna use this side first and just kind of go like this and just, you know, comb through. Um, I do want to apologize for her. All the stuff in my background right now like the balloon up there is kind of ridiculous um it's for my birthday my friend Nicole got it for me and then the two drawings one of them Chris and drew for me which you guys seen in my little birthday video last week it's beautiful I just haven't got a chance to hang it up yet on the wall and then the other one my mom got for me drawn uh, by another artist and I'm gonna hang them both on my wall but I just haven't got to that because I went straight back to work after I got done with my birthday weekend so it was pretty fun but I'm gonna finish doing my eyebrows because as I said this is nothing new to you guys you guys have seen me do my eyebrows tons of times with the same product so um I will be back with the next step so I'm gonna go in and do my eyes first I'm gonna go with the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion just to prime my eyelids so the foundation doesn't I mean foundation so the um the eyeshadow doesn't crease I don't know what is going on with me swear okay so I'm just gonna put this on and it's like a thinner consistency um my mac paint pots are um like pretty thick but those are better for like cut creases and things like that and then I just am going to rub this in with my finger. Kind of get it all the product. And okay, there. so now I'm gonna go in and do my eyes. And I'm gonna go in with the Life's a Festival um, by Too Faced Palette. This is so pretty with the unicorn and everything I've never used this palette yet so it's okay fine. so I'm gonna build up this desert vibes um, in the palette and I'm gonna take it into my crease and I'm just gonna blend it back and forth like this and the whole point of um, I like having different eyeshadow uh, different shades of eyeshadow on is the layering of it that's the whole point um, so it looks like you have dimension to your eye instead of just like adding one color and a lot of people think it's like hard and not easy but it's actually pretty simple so I'm gonna do one eye completely and then the other eye off camera then I'll come back and add mascara and stuff so basically the next color I'm gonna go in with is this color called hmm, what am I gonna do let's go in with like a kind of deeper color it's called fantasy not fantasy, fantasy. And so we're gonna go, and it's like a deeper purple. And we're gonna go into the outer corner right here. And basically what I'm gonna do is just kind of blend it in to this light brown color with this exact same brush. I love being able to layer colors on top of each other and like this is a look that literally anyone can do but it looks like it's like complex you know it doesn't look like wow she just threw one shade on her it looks like I took a lot of time to do this when I'm not taking much time at all to do this so that color doesn't look like it needs another layer so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the next brush and this is the morphe m422 brush 
And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a lighter pink and this shade is called, um, what's it called? Young and Free. So I'm gonna take this lighter pink and I'm gonna go right here and just kind of make it look like the darker goes into the lighter right there. Like that darker purple fades into this lighter pink. So that'll like just fade together. And then I'm going to take my Morphe M408. I feel like I'm like rapping <laughs> with like these intense names. And I'm gonna go in with Artist Pace Pass, sorry. Artist Pass is what this color is called and it looks so pretty. It's a glitter. And it looks like it's pretty packed. So it looks like it'll have, oh yes it does. Okay, and it's like a blue gray. So I'm gonna go in right here and just kind of pack this on. And see how it looks like it fades into the pink that's your main goal in this is to make it look like it all comes together and it doesn't just look like one big blob of nothingness and that's what you want and then I'm gonna go over it with it's called mystic rain which is like a really glittery pink and we'll see how this looks over Okay, that looks so pretty. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically just keep packing it on like this because when you do glitter, you wanna use a flat brush so the glitter goes onto it because a fluffy one, it doesn't pack it on like you would want it to with um, the flat brush. So that is one eye complete. And like I said, you can see where the glitter fades into the light pink and then the darker purple right here. And then the like lighter brown up at the top. So that is like a more complex look that you can get without like being, I guess what you would say, a pro <laughs> makeup artist. So I'm gonna do the other F camera and be right back um, to do mascara and the rest of my so. I have been using, if you guys watched my, if you've been here for a little bit since I first started my channel, um, I did like a skincare regimen and showed you guys like my skincare, my skin journey. So if you guys want to go check that out, it's still uploaded on my channel. Um, but I use Eucerin every single day. You can get it at like Walgreens, Walmart. I'm not going to go into depth of it because there's no point in repeating myself. I already did it in my previous video where I showed you guys my skincare regimen. And so basically what I did is daily, it's called Daily Protection Sensitive Skin Broad Spectrum SPF 30. And basically all it does is like a light moisturizer that um, helps with my skin because I have very sensitive skin to get red. So I already put this on today and it, I put it on every day no matter if I wear makeup or not, but normally if I am wearing makeup, I just use that as my primer lately instead of putting more on, um, like an actual more primer on because it's pretty moisturizing as it is. So I'm going to go in with my, <laughs> almost dropped my phone. So I'm going to go in with my Becca foundation. I haven't used it in a while. It is a luminous foundation in the shade Fair. And I'm just going, this is a dropper, so you have to be very careful with it. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So, see what I'm saying? It's a dropper. So basically, I'm just going to put this all over my skin. And this is like very glowy. So basically, what I like to do with this it's just instead of dropping it on my skin, I just dip it in and then I pull it out and just put it all over the skin. And basically what I like to do is just put a little bit of powder on after and that's it because it is, like I said, really glowy. So it kind of gives you a natural 
glow as it is and I don't do contour and all that every single day because it's just a lot of work <laughs> but I think contour is a little bit more dramatic for you know like going out you know I don't know that's just my opinion but I'm gonna go in with my Y6 brush got it right and blend this in and then I will be right back to add powder mascara and lipstick and then this look will be complete so now I'm gonna go in and do setting powder but like I said I want a more glowy look so I don't really do a lot of setting powder I just put some on so it doesn't go all over my face so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with my uh, bye bye pores by it cosmetics I got a new one my other one was like all cracked and messed up so I just got a new one um it comes with this sponge but I hate these sponges I always use a brush because these sponges basically what they do is, is they take off your foundation when you're putting it on because they just they don't like blend like a brush they just smudge and literally eat your foundation off so I'm like uh no they're not gonna defeat the whole purpose so um this is my Y11 Morphe brush and I'm gonna just go in and basically when I don't want to do tons of powder I just go under my eyes like this so nothing drops or it just seems to keep my mascara from moving when I put mascara on. and over here and then I always do my nose and around my mouth because around my mouth sometimes when I'm wearing lipstick and stuff or lip stain it'll smudge or whatever when you're eating and so we put setting powder around it it just prevents it from moving even if it is lip stain sometimes lip stain runs or you know whatever and then I always put it on my forehead because literally no one that I know or have ever even heard of likes a shiny forehead like extremely shiny so and that is all I do for that. And then I'm done with my powder. So then I always just keep these stupid little sponges in here. So I guess it's kind of like a protectant. I don't know. I guess you pay for what you get. But <laughs> I guess they probably are like, oh, let me put this in here to make it more expensive. So I'm gonna, now I'm gonna do my mascara Benefit. Oh, jeez. My favorite is the Real by Benefit, but I'm gonna go in with the Bad Gal. Um, mascara bang and I like the wand on this but it is really long and then I'm just gonna do my mascara it's literally it I'm like beyond I feel like benefits mascara like no matter what mascara I've tried of theirs and I've tried all of them that they sell oh my gosh I got it on my nose oh no okay well, this is another pro tip. So if you get it on your nose, just wait for it to dry so it doesn't smudge all over your face. Or if you get it anywhere on your face, mascara. Just wait for it to dry. And then all literally all you have to do when um, it's dry is just take a Q-tip and it comes right off. Like literally comes right off. And then I'm gonna, sometimes I do eye, or eyeshadow on my bottom lashes, and other times I don't, and I just do like dramatic with the mascara. Like I go in on my bottom lashes a lot if I'm not wearing eyeshadow on the bottom lashes like today. And then it just looks more dramatic. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off of camera and get this mascara off my inner corner right there and then I will be right back to do lipstick and finish up. So now I'm gonna go in and do my lips which is my last step. I'm gonna go in with the Gloss Angeles. Um, it is by Smashbox and I'm gonna go in with the shade Beachy. I think yeah Beachy. It looked like it said Bee City at first but then I was like, no, it's not right. And, ew, I like this. I've never used this one before. 
I bought the trio on Black Friday and I always use the like pink color in it. I never use this one, it looks really nice. So basically when I wear glasses I just kind of rub my lips together and just fill in. I think this looks really, this color, it's like a mauve and it looks really nice with um with the eye look. So that is the look and I hope you guys enjoy and as always thanks for rolling with me um if you have any looks that you would like me to do in the future that it would be awesome if you just recommend them down below in the comments and also I'm now doing a new makeup look every single day on my Instagram which is always linked in the intro it is Peyton underscore coffee so is my Twitter so if you want to keep up with me more than just once a week on here then as you know always just follow me on there and I hope you guys have been if you have been following me this long for the five months that I've had my channel and everything then thank you so much and if you're new well, welcome um I will see you guys next week when back and forth my brother is so annoying but I'm just going to blend up in my crease and basically what you want to do is, is just kind of add dimension that's the whole point of layering eyeshadow this is really to make your eyes look um more have more dimension